Would you take a look at this restoration? This is so sweet. I'm going to talk about it and try not to put my dirty mitts on it because it is a very clean job. It's fifth month, 1981, and it's pretty stock standard, brought back to its original form. There's probably two things I've spotted that weren't there in its day, and that's the, um, well, it's got a five speed now, and it's got disc brakes. The 47 did have disc brakes a bit later on, but not in the fifth month of 81. So um, under the bonnet, she is just a beautiful specimen of a 47, brought back to life. You can see a few little tweaks there, um, things like you can't buy the, um, the, the heater piping anymore, it's not available. And even on a lot of our wrecks, it's all perished at the ends. So Giles, the owner of this one's made up some new heater piping and not only the heater piping, I've got to mention that the owner of this rig's done the whole build himself everything dismantled it and um, brought it all back to life absolutely everything even the tray um, all handmade by the owner now this one this one's got an interesting story it's one owner before the new current owner so there's one owner and it comes from south australia in the flinders ranges and it spent its whole life from 1981 until a few years ago it's spent its life in the Flinders Ranges on a station. It's never been on bitumen road. So it's um, a very good blank canvas, dry country. Uh, don't get me wrong, we've uh, seen this build the whole time um, that Giles has been working on it. And in the early days, he bought um, cuts just uh, off the panels, just sections off of other cabs. So the farmer actually used it and it did have dings and a little bit of rust. So as far as blank canvases go she did take a bit of work and it's right up the front um, the, we've got the factory bar and the factory number plate holder um, the wheels the road grippers with the splitties he's um painted them all up brand new underneath brand new train tamer suspension from one end to the other she's all been sandblasted he's finished he's driving it but now he tells us um, about the next, we never stop tinkering with our toys. So this one's no different. Um, it's got the full exhaust at the moment and he's gonna duck that around to the side of the cab. That way he can have 80 litres of fuel and 80 litres of water um, mounted up under the chassis. And while we're chatting, um, notice that the spare tire was a bit higher than normal. It's actually, the spare tire is actually attached to the tray and the, um, the normal chassis bracket's been removed. Uh, Giles is going to run two spare tyres under there and they're actually going to finish level where one would. So it's just, um, again, he's a hands-on guy. And when I walk around this one, I, I look in little areas like up in behind here and the attention to detail, um, just everything has been gold, zinc plated and just stuff that the, the, the normal naked eye can't see. Behind things, under things, um, all, all the filler neck on the inside here all gold zinc plated no cut and corners on this one and the same goes for inside so let's have a look at uh the custom upholstery that's going on now i did say i wasn't gonna um try and touch anything but uh, you can't not want to sit in this one it is just beautiful i wish it had um smell of vision too because um there's so much uh, brand new kangaroo hide going on in here that um the leather lets off a really nice um leathery scent uh, we're talking the door cards the seats the the dash pad the radio blank has even um, been done with kangaroo hide and also the um, sun visors all are uh, reupholstered with kangaroo hide it's given it a really nice look and then um, to go with that it's got the black true fit uh, floor and some black mats so it's all it's all color coded and look really neat in here and um, just sitting here, I'm just seeing some of the stuff we supplied. So we've had um, um, a long relationship with Giles and all your weather strips and decals and um, panel cuts and rebuild kits. Um, so it's been such a pleasure to see someone working on their own car and have it here for us to um, go over it for the first time um, since it's been on the road. Well, it's actually the second time. He's actually um, clocked up. Since it's been on, on the road, he's clocked up 10,000 Ks. And just take a look at the dash. It is so clean. He hasn't, um, he hasn't uh, messed with anything. He's uh, made a, um, 
uh, custom drink holder, cup to hold his coffee, just things he's done himself. And the five speed, so the five speed, he's um, sourced the correct five speed gear knob. And if we have a look on the glove box, he's also got the um, five speed plate. And so somebody's customizing the five speed plate for the glove box lid, very cool. A lot of us own five speeds. Um, the hood lining is all, um, he's put that in there himself. Also, listen to that, this whole car is steel. Uh, coming from dry country, lots of dents, but it's all steel, not any fiberglass whatsoever on this car. Um, where things were perish, seat belts, he's got brand new seat belts. You can buy stuff like that. There's, um, there's nothing stopping us from rebuilding cars when you can't get stuff anymore. Just replace it with new, new aftermarket. And um, the gold zinc plating, while I'm sitting in the, the driver's seat, I'm seeing things just like the check straps and the bolts that hold a mineral gold zinc plating. Giles has not missed anything with this car. It's a um, true testament for his love for the 47 and, he, and his um, passion to build cars. This isn't his only 40 series and um, you can see he's a very passionate man. Let's go have a look at the tray that he's also built himself. Dead set testament to um, Giles's hard work that um, he's built this tray. There was no um, there was no blank canvas. He started with the steel, bent up the mud flaps, put the steps where he wanted them, laid it all out. Now he's tucked his high lift jack underneath the front of the tray, easy access, and it's not going to affect his tanks, his fuel and water when they go in there. And the Hayman's at the back. Um, it also, it only sticks out 25 mil either side from the cab, so it's not a wide tray. This is, um, it's just done to how he wanted it for his purpose. And the wood, this is old bridge timber. He's recycled some bridge timber and um, the floor is blood wood. He's done all that himself as well. So this tray is uh, hand built and he's done a really, really nice job. So this is it. This is a beauty and I can't tell you how exciting it's been this has been three years of um, helping supply and um, nutting stuff out with Giles and working through to get this on the road. Now three years ago is when uh, it was found in Flinders Ranges as I said but the, the owner said it hadn't been going in two years so they sent a box of uh, spares to Flinders Ranges and had that couriered over then uh, Giles and his mate took their swags on a plane and flew over Within two hours they had it running, had the lights working, they had um, the passes to drive it all the way back to Queensland and it um, didn't miss a beat and 40 series, why wouldn't it?